Hi guys, it's Matt again, and as promised a month ago, um, I was going to do an overview of my Mega Blasters, and I did actually do videos, but unfortunately I had a catastrophic PC failure and lost all my raw video footage, so I'm having to start again. So, from the top, we have number one, we have the Nerf Mega Hot Shock. It is, well, the blaster comes in a package with two Mega Darts. Biggest difference between Mega Darts and your standard End Strike Elite blue darts is the size, obviously, in comparison. And if you compare those, they're huge. Coop pointed out that you can indeed fit them together, one inside another, and make a satisfying pop. But there you go. The hot chuck itself comes with two of your mega darts, one which pops in the barrel. And the other has a little storage slot on top, like the Mega Big Shock. There are no tactical rails um, at all. That looks a little like a tactical rail, but it isn't. There's no tactical rails, just the spare dart slot on top. Um, there's no barrel attachment because it's a Mega Blaster, and it would be stupid to put a small, it just jams and it will go up. But it's another T Prime direct plunger, very light. I would say that's even lighter than your Jolt, but I think that has something to do with the more grip and, and the ability to brace it better. Um, it's got a very comfortable grip. Um, it just fits my hand on there, and it's got quite a large trigger well. Um, fits quite well into rubber hand, rubber hand. Um, and I, I do shoot left or right. I am ambidextrous, so I'll shoot left or right. I tend to shoot left, but that's perfectly comfortable for me. You get very good performance to the point that it actually returns to you. Now, you would think with something as large as a Mega Dart and as aerodynamically unfeasible as it may seem, Mega Darts actually, in my opinion, seem to hit a lot harder and have a higher FPS and go further. They also seem to be a lot more accurate and most of the Mega Blasters I've used have a very light draw on them and I was surprised by that. Um, considering the actual power that you, you do get out of it. These, I, I picked up two of these because they were on offer at Aldi for £7.99 each. Um, this was just before Christmas. Um, but uh, it was my first Mega Blaster and I saw them and I thought, hey, pick up two because I'd never used a Mega Blaster before. And I thought, hey, two of them, four dots, it's a good start. So, yeah. Um, I prefer this to the Mega Big Shock, um, mainly due to this actually looks like a pistol than a, a stubby, fat yacht. Um, I don't see the point in changing the barrel uh, to, to fire rivals rounds. 
Um, and it's the point of other rings, you know, maybe going into them to buy Mega Darts, get from it, find Mega Darts from it. Um, I don't honestly see the point in reducing the size of the calibre to take um, standard elites because once again I'm happy with its mega dark performance. Um, it is viable, very viable for a spring update, like just to increase the, the an upgrade for the spring uh, to increase the plunger because it's a direct prime system. It is basically you are pulling the plunger rod and the draw strength on it is not that bad. So I think with an upgraded spring and a very light and crisp snappy trigger that it will hit a lot harder and fire a lot further. But as you can tell, the, uh, the accuracy is not that bad out of the box. The seal itself, as you can see, holds quite well. And you see it only slides forward the last inch or so when I release the air fully, when I release my hand. So the seal in it out of the box is quite good. So you do get that as a bonus. And it wasn't a one-off because both of them perform equally as well. Um, would I recommend buying one for the right price? Yes, I would buy one of these above a better Mega Big Shock. I would prefer one of these to a Mega Big Shock because it's more like a pistol than a stump and it's holsterable even if you can stick it in a cargo pocket it's still holsterable so yes i would get one 7.99 was cheap for that um but i don't expect you pay more than 10 12 pounds for one now um at that price if you just pick up the one just to try if you've never used mega darts before just to try it's worth it because some people don't use Mega Darts, some people do like Mega Darts, some game types have special rules for Mega Darts with Shield Breaker or two, two kills with one shot. Um, so, yeah, it's, they're always useful to have one in your armory, even if it's just, just one of these that you can just one that you can put in a pocket, at least you can use it in an emergency if your primary or your secondary happens to go down you've got two shots very much like the jolt but a lot more powerful so if you decide to buy one of these hopefully i've given you some idea what you'll be getting um yes so now fun enjoy yourselves have fun Take care of each other, wear eye protection, stay safe, and um, I will be carrying on with my Mega series as well as a few other things that I have lying around Australia. So, hopefully, I'll see you in a later video. Hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and leave comments in the section below constructive hopefully and any suggestions or integrations mods things like that leave me some uh, leave me mail let me know or in the more info email address facebook they're there you can email me get me on facebook or just drop a comment up to you but i'll do my best to get back to you um Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Take care. Bye now.